Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in the previous video, we have learned about this to have been called with, right? Now this test case is okay, fine. So it's perfect, is perfectly working fine. And also we are sure that so this update result is getting called. Why? Because so it is calling this update result and also this update result method is calling using this parameter. So fine. And now we can also uh, write the another expectation also. What is that one is how many times this update result has been called. If you try to see here, when you are trying to call this calculate of a plus 3, that means number a is invalid. Now if you try to see this one, so when number a is not a number, it is calling only one time this update result. So this type of scenario also we can test it. So how many times this update result has been called. So this type of scenarios also we can check it. So how can we check this one? We have an another special an another matcher that is expect window dot update result dot to have been called times. Okay, to have been called times. So now we know that by seeing the code, this update result method when an, a number is invalid, it is calling only once. So that means here we need to call it only once. So we need to expect that this update result method has to be called only one time. So that is the reason I am taking, uh, it will take a parameter how many times that has been called. Let's say that we will change it to two and let's see the output. If I try to see the output, here we are able to see the error that expected spy update result to have been called two times, but actually it was called only one time. So this is the error the spec is trying to return it. So that means this spec is working fine. It's correct, right? So expected spy update result is being called two times, but uh, actually it is, we are thinking of it, is, it should be called two times, but actually it was called only one time. So that is correct. So now let's try to change it to one. So let's update the same expected in all the three specs. So let's try to update this one. So fine, that's it. So now we have successfully checked the validation of this expression with the first number, second number, and also the operation with whether the update result has been called or not and also whether the update result has been called with this parameter or not and also that update result has been called one time or not so exactly one time only it has to call so these are all the scenarios we have checked and now if you try to see the output so it is working exactly the, all the tests are running pass so this is how we will be checking so these are the matchers spy matchers that are available in our jasmine and some more matches also available but we will be using most of the time so more oftenly we will be using these three matches. So have been it has been called the spy ma the method is been called or not, and also the method has been called with these parameters or not, and also the method has been called the number of times. So these three matches we will try to see it. And here if you try to see, so up to here the testing has been completed. So checking the validation of the expression. So whether the first number, second number, and the operation, the validation we have checked it. Up to here it is completed now the if you come down the testing still is there so we need to check with the when the expression is valid so when our expression is valid so what are the things i need to check so here we need to create the instance of the calculator so here the instance of the calculator has been created and there is a switch case which calls the addition subtraction multiplication and division so these are all the scenarios it is calling so we will try to write the spec test cases for these things also let's try to write this one so hope you understood about these matches have been called have been called with and have been called times so these are the matches that you need to remember in the spy on thing and also n dot stop is a default one so we can omit it if you write also there is not a problem so you can do it and another thing what i want to tell you is so these all the code is hosted in the github if you go to the github github.com slash leelanarsimha this is my github repository so every time I am creating a branch and I am committing it. So if you go here, here we are having a simple hyphen calculator. So this is the Jasmine simple hyphen calculator. So every video, whatever the video we are trying to do it. So with that video number, I am creating a branch and I am pushing the code, the appropriate code belonging to that video. So I am pushing that one. So there is no need to worry. So when you go to this 42 hyphen video, so the 42nd video, what we have did it. So here you will be able to see this one. So whenever you want to refer the code, so these all matches, if you want to see it and all those things. So what, which, which video you are seeing, you can go to that particular branch and you will be able to find that particular video. Okay. So hope you understood about this one. 
and also this github repository will be provided in the description below so if you want to have this description uh, github repository you can have it and you can check the code okay so hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you